With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, so the question is, sum of principal argument of complex number i plus iota minus 1 plus 3 root 3 iota root 3 minus root 3 minus iota root 3, root 3 minus iota iota minus 3 iota 2 minus 1 is that means sum of principal argument so let a complex number is nothing but z is equals to that is complex number x plus i y that is iota y this is a complex number and this is a we need to find the principal sum of principal argument of this complex number so when you write this equation you have sine theta is nothing but y by mod z and cos theta is nothing but x by mod z and always you know that principal argument for any complex number lies between minus pi to pi where pi is included minus pi to pi now mod of z is nothing but root of x square plus y square so applying this to all first of all you have 1 plus iota so for you can see that this is cos theta and sin theta both is nothing but 1 upon root of x square that is 1 square plus 1 square that is root of 1 square plus 1 square you can say that 1 upon root 2 so theta is nothing but cos inverse pi by 4 or sin inverse pi by 4 that is nothing but pi by 4 now for minus 1 plus root 3 iota you have sin theta is equals to root 3 by 2 and cos theta is equals to minus 1 by 2 so it lies in second quadrant because it is positive and negative so theta is nothing but 2 pi by 3 2 pi by 3 now for minus root 3 minus iota sin theta is equals to minus 1 by 2 the magnitude and cos theta is equals to minus root 3 by 2 so it lies in third quadrant because it is negative so the value is nothing but minus pi to pi by 2 minus minus pi to pi by 2 it lies between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 but you have to make it between minus pi to pi. So your value is of theta is nothing but minus pi plus pi by 6 which is nothing but 5 pi by 6. That is why it lies between minus pi to pi. Now for root 3 minus iota sin theta is minus 1 by 2 and cos theta is root 3 by 2. That lies between minus pi to pi so the value is nothing but minus pi by 6. Now for iota sin theta and cos theta sin theta is equals to 1 and cos theta is equals to 0 so theta is equals to pi by 2 for minus 3 minus 3 iota sin theta is equals to minus 3 by 3 that is 1 and cos theta is equals to 0 so theta is equals to minus pi by 2 now for 2 2 for 2 for 2 it is sin theta is equals to 0 and cos theta is equals to 2 by 2 that is nothing but 1 so theta is equals to 0 and for minus 1 for minus 1 for minus 1 you have sin theta is equals to 0 and cos theta sin theta is equals to 0 and cos theta is equals to minus 1 by 1 that is nothing but minus 1 so you can say that theta is equals to pi now this is for minus 1 and this is for the rest now we need to find the sum of principal argument so there is no space so I am doing it here. So sum of principal argument by adding all values that is the first one is pi by 4 and similarly second one is 2 pi by 3 third is minus 5 pi by 6 minus pi by 6 plus pi by 2 minus pi by 2 plus 0 and minus pi. So it comes out to be 3 pi plus 8 pi by 12. So it is nothing but 11 pi by 12, which is your option number A. I hope it is clear. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.